First at Five. From the University of Florida's College of Journalism and Communications, you're watching WUFT News. Megan Gannon joins us now with a look at what exactly that means. The city of Gainesville has verbally committed to fund the staffing to keep the pavilion at Grace Marketplace open. But the shelter has had to front the money and is waiting for the city to pay what it promised. It cost more than $6,000 to pay for the staffing to keep the pavilion open every month. There are two scheduled meetings in December to determine when the funds will drop. And heavy fog this morning made that ride to work a little slower. Yeah, let's check in with WFT forecaster Alex DeRosier to see if we can expect more of the same tomorrow. Alex? Thanks, Alex. Today is Florida City Government Day. And city staff members put together an annual field trip for exemplary fifth grade students. WFT's Bianca Bahamondes joins us from our newsroom with more. Bianca? WFT's own Kyle Logan will be with us after the break to discuss this game and more. Stay with us. Coming up on WFT News at 6, as the fallout from Ferguson continues, President Obama is requesting millions from Congress, hoping to put body cameras on all law enforcement officers. We'll explore some of the concerns law enforcement agencies have about these potential changes. Thanks, Alex, and thank you at home for watching WUFT News First at 5. BBC World News is next, followed by WFT News at 6. And your local news is always on at WUFT.org. Good night.